I think I've seen online where this is where the Traeger explodes. It is just a nasty day outside and we're gonna to try to make it a little bit better. So today we are doing a comparison between the Kamado Joe and the Traeger. We're gonna be doing short ribs, same rub, same temperature, hopefully same time on both grills. And then we're gonna do a comparison once we pull them off afterwards. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I don't know really who I'm kidding. You should see my analytics. All right, gentlemen. We are doing short ribs today. I'm gonna cut these up, see how this goes. If this is your first time doing a short rib, rest assured that you'll be eating about a third of this. I'm not really gonna do anything to these. Some people take the time to trim this stuff off. I'm not doing that. We are comparing between the Kamado Joe and the Traeger, but we're gonna be using the same rub on both because I want it as consistent as I can possibly get. Which means, in a perfect world, I think I'm gonna try to cut one of these in half so that we have one and a half on each grill. So, we'll see how that goes. What you doing? Oh, it's the wide angle, so there's a ton of stuff. One eternity later. Oh my gosh. But it'll be okay. Hey, look at that. All right, I am gonna rub them down in mustard. I don't typically do this. I'm just gonna give it a try. I've done it before with short ribs. And, uh, and then we're gonna be using Meat Church's Holy Voodoo. And these are the ingredients. Hopefully you saw that. Man, I can smell the jalapeno. It actually smells like jalapeno chips. That's what it smells like. Okay, we are all rubbed down. Um, the Kamado Joe's getting up to temperature. It's about time that I turn the Traeger on. We'll get it up to temp as well, and we'll put them on at the same time. Place your bets down in the comments below of which one's gonna finish first, which one's gonna look better, which one's gonna taste better as well. I think I've seen online where this is where the Traeger explodes. Oh, well. guys are going on the trigger. Huge success. That was excellent. And we'll see what happens in about three hours. Check our pellets first. Looking pretty good. Push them down. Keep it rolling. All right, let's take a look. Here we go. Traeger. Looking yummy. Fell over a bit. Still looks good. All right, let's check out the Joe. That one also fell over. Woo! There we go. Both looking phenom. Check on our little uh, guy right here. Looks great. Oh man, yeah. 
We just got the Traeger short ribs off the grill. They look excellent. They're probe tender. The Kamado Joe ones have a little bit longer. All right, this is Kamado Joe. This is Traeger. Now, the Kamado Joe looks like it's got a little bit better of bark. I find that interesting. That is a common criticism of Traeger, or maybe it's just pellet grills in general that I've heard of. So that seems to be holding true. All right, hopefully you can see this okay, but this is our Traeger, and this is our Kamado Joe here. I'm gonna separate from the bone. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do a cross-sectional cut on both of them just so you can see. See what kind of smoke ring we're working with, if at all. See what we're working with here. Tiny little smoke ring there. Lots of fat in that one. Let's leave that there. And then let's go ahead with the Kamado Joe version, which the bark is noticeably better. Don't know if that comes through or not. How's that? Oh, look at that smoke ring. Just the comparison there, holy moly. See if we can see. Uh, not much of a smoke ring. This is Traeger. We'll see how it stacks up. So this is Kamado Joe, this is Traeger. I really don't see a smoke ring at all on this guy. That is noticeable for sure. Okay, now it's taste test time. Okay, I'm going Traeger first here. Traeger. I will say the flavor is awesome and it is super tender. Um, doesn't, you know, doesn't have any crunchy bark on it or anything, but if you're not a huge bark fan, then this is right up your alley. It tasted really good. The rub is very subtle. It tastes very good. So we used the Holy Voodoo from Meat Church. It's, man, that is very, very good. Not spicy, real subtle. Okay, so that was the Traeger. Now I'm going with the Kamado Joe. I might be biased here. I think it's a little more tender and also the smokiness comes through way more. So I was using cherry pellets. I was also using cherry wood chunks in the Kamado Joe. And I get the cherry flavor coming through pretty strong, actually, in, uh, in the Kamado Joe version. I, I don't taste a ton of smokiness in the Traeger version. Um, it definitely had, you could taste the bark. It was a little bit crunchy on that outside. Man, I just want to keep trying pieces back and forth. Um, I'm also, it could have just been that one bite, or it could be, this is my first time using Holy Voodoo. It could be that Holy Voodoo builds, but I'm picking up more of the jalapeno. It could have just been luck of the draw. So let's, um, Christine, you want to give it a taste? See what you think? I want to try to do blind. Here's a little piece of meat. This is Traeger. I can cut you off a little tiny piece of... The Kamado Joe is more tender. I agree. So that's... I know we're biased, but that's two votes for Kamado Joe being more tender. I think that on the Traeger, you can taste like the overall flavor of the seasoning better mm -hmm. because the one off the Kamado Joe you taste a lot of the smoke flavor instead yeah. however like you were saying what's interesting is I think you the flavor that stands out from this on the Kamado Joe is the jalapeno right whereas the sweetness of and that could just be yeah that could just be luck of the draw like we put you know there was more rub or something like that but I was kind of getting the same thing, is that the jalapeno... It's on the very back end. Yes. Yeah. And I got the smokiness up front, super tender, super juicy, definitely tasted that cherry wood. 
I didn't really get any smokiness out of the Traeger at all. Mm-mm. Which it was interesting. Which is not always the case. I've used the Traeger a ton and it does an awesome job. So this was a shorter smoke. This was about three hours. So typically we've done, when I smoke things, like I've done pork shoulder brisket and it's for much longer. So it could be that three hours just wasn't enough time to get the smoke on it. Um, but the Kamado Joe for sure smokier and it's interesting because the rub plays differently it, it appears with the smokiness so the smokiness kind of masks the other flavors in this rub other than the jalapeno but those flavors come out more in the traeger beautiful okay kamado joe obviously taste is subjective and i wouldn't say either of these are bad by any means I'm partial to the smokiness and the bark of the Kamado Joe. And it's interesting how they both kind of play with this holy voodoo. Different flavors just from two different grills. Same temperature, almost exact same amount of time, but I'm giving this one to the Kamado Joe. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. Go out there, get you some short ribs. They're super easy. Rub them down, throw them on the grill, you're good to go. 225, 250, keep it on for a few hours. They are awesome and easy to do. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up. But the most important thing that you can do is if you enjoyed the video, um, you can subscribe, which would be awesome. But the other thing you can do that the algorithm loves is if you share this video. So if you know someone who is into barbecue or likes short ribs, send this video along to them. That'd be greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching Break It Yourself, and we will see you next time. Mm.